Hello, lovely people. So today's video is going to be a little bit different from what I normally do. Uh, or oh, wildly different, actually. So as some of you know, I have a weekend job where I go to uh, children's parties as a princess and basically make their birthday dreams come true. Um, so I have absolutely no right and no skill to be able to call this video a tutorial. So we're going to we're going to go with get ready with me. So this I'll probably do like maybe a few of these videos depending on how successful they are whether you guys want to see the other characters that I do um, but today we are becoming Elsa so the first thing I do in order to get ready for Elsa is I will pop in my blue circle contact lenses this enlarges my iris makes me look more character like more cartoony um, I believe these contact lenses are from uh, eye candies which is my usual online site that I use I'll put a link in the description below and I'll put a list of all the products that I'm using as well bear in mind most of it has just come from duty-free drugstore um, so it's nothing spectacular um, as I say this is just the way that I get ready I am by no means an expert in makeup I have no idea what I'm doing I'm just winging it and progressively the more work that I get at the weekends the more I have to do my makeup and the l I get a little bit better each time so I think we're at a passable point so we learned recently that it's actually best to do your eye makeup first so that you don't get all the powder all over your skin but I completely forgot so I'm gonna start by moisturizing my face so that it doesn't dry out to be like a prune because you know hot British weather and all that <laughs> that was sarcasm <laughs> The next thing I'm going to do after my moisturizer is all soaked into my skin, I'm going to put on a primer just all over my face, all over my eyelids as well. Uh, just make sure that my makeup stays on all day. Um, if you've got a, well, if I have a few parties in a day, sometimes I need my makeup to last between six and eight hours. So it just helps and stops it from melting off my face when I'm sweating, having to do the floss with a bunch of four year olds. After that I'll go in with a really thick heavy layer of, um, well, I, I use this as costume foundation so this isn't what I use day to day because it is so heavy on the face. Uh, it's, it's really thick, really creamy, um, but it, it's really good for coverage. As you can see, I've been bitten to death by mosquitoes. I've just come back from Fuerteventura when I filmed this. Um, so just really get a smooth base just for everything to go over. As I mentioned, my, my bites aren't quite covered up here, so I'm just gonna go in with a bit of concealer just to try and really cover that up as much as I possibly can. So this is the contour palette I'm gonna go in with, uh, with my contour and my highlight. It's not the best ever, but it gets the job done. So I'm gonna go in with a really pale shimmery highlight and then the darkest contour that they have, just to try and create that contrast.
So this is just a standard translucent powder that you can get anywhere, any brand, doesn't really matter. Um, I'm really gonna cake a lot of this stuff on because, I mean, as you might have seen in the clip, I'm not the greatest at contouring. Um, I tend to have really dark patches. Maybe I'm just using the wrong shade. But if anybody has any recommendations on how I can do my contour and highlight any better or any products to recommend to make it really easy for me, that would be amazing. So once I've set all of that crap that's on my face, um, I'm going to put on a really shimmery, uh, iridescent highlight, just all over my cheekbones and bringing it up to my uh, temples. And then put a little bit on my cupid's bow and just a little bit on the tip of my nose too. So here I'm going to use a really sugary pink for the cheeks. I'm going to put a lot of blush on. Uh, it doesn't tend to show up um, that well. I don't know if it's the pigment in this particular palette, um, but we really want the cheeks to stand out because, again, you are a character. So here I'm just brushing my eyebrows with a spoolie and I'm going to pencil them in with a brown pencil just to match the natural colour of my eyebrows. Because they have such dark hair it's really difficult for me to kind of do a different colour eyebrow so I can't really make them lighter but if you can get them blonder to match Elsa's hair that would be ideal. So my method of penciling in my eyebrows is a little bit unconventional in the sense that I just kind of go ham with it. Um, I tend to try and fill in the bottom line and brush it up and then I will kind of brush it out towards the center of my nose to get like a nice square on the inside, which inevitably leaves it a horrible mess. So what I will then do is go in with my concealer. I will conceal all the way around the eyebrow with the shape that I want, trying to kind of adhere to the natural shape of my eyebrows as much as possible. And it will come out pretty beautiful. So I'll be using this sleek eyeshadow palette for the eyes. I'm going to go in with the uh, really shimmery silver for the lids and then for the crease on the brow bone I'm going to use a purple. I'm just also putting a little bit of the silver shimmer just on the insides of my eyes um, just to kind of make them pop a little bit. For the purple, I'm going to use a less stiff brush. I'm going to use a very soft one that I can use to blend it in a little bit. And I'm also going to cheat and use a trick that I found off RuPaul's Drag Race. And I'm going to use a piece of cardboard just to um, prevent the eyeshadow from coming down lower than I want it to. And it'll make a really nice, just a really sharp edge. I'm also just going to put a little bit of that purple underneath my bottom lash line, um, about two thirds of the way in, just to really emphasize that purple color. So yeah, I'm just using a bog standard white pencil liner just to pencil my bottom waterline. This helps the eyes to pop and it also gives the illusion of um, bigger eyes, which really works well in tandem with the contact lenses. Once I've finished with the pencil, I'm going to use my gel liner on my top lids. I'm going to make a kind of medium thickness, not too thick, not too thin. We want it to stand out. We want it to be bold because, again, it's characterized. You want it to be more dramatic than a standard casual day-to-day -day look. I'm going to bring it off at the ends with a nice flick and try and keep it in line with that very sharp eyeshadow line that I filled in before. Hey look, we're getting there. Now for the piece de resistance, I'm gonna curl my eyelashes, put a bit of mascara on and put on the fake lashes just to really complete that eye makeup.
I always find getting on lashes really difficult. I don't know if it's because I have astigmatism in one of my eyes. Um, how do you guys find it? Do you guys find it difficult? I find that it is a lot easier when I buy um, a pack from Isla that have got them pre-glued. But it seems like they recently changed the product. Um, it's the same price or possibly even more expensive. They've certainly changed the packaging, but it seems like the lashes themselves are a lot shorter too. So I don't know what's going on there. But what do you guys think? Now the final thing, it's kind of an optional extra, but I really like to do this, uh, is just put on some very, very sparkly glitter all over the eyelids, just where you uh, filled it in with the white shimmery eyeshadow before. The eyeshadow kind of speaks for itself, but if you really just want to go completely OTT like I love to do, um, just stick on some sparkle. Finally, I'm going to go in with a very bold, very pink lipstick, um, just to kind of match the very pink blush that I've got going on. Go for a real cutesy Disney princess vibe. Elsa doesn't really come across to me like that, but I guess with the cold kind of colours that she wears, and the cold colours of the makeup on her face, the pink really stands out and it actually it looks really cool. Okay, so I kind of screwed up the lips here. The liquid lipstick was just not cooperating with me that day. Uh, so I've had to add in an extra step here. I've just got, I think it's a brow brush actually, but I'm just dipping it in some concealer and I'm just going around my lips. But you can also do this if you just want to kind of make your lips stand out. It kind of highlights the edges of them, uh, especially if you're overlining them, then it just kind of gives them this focus effect. Now that the makeup is done, I'm gonna tie my hair back, I'm gonna put on a wig cap, and I'm gonna put on the wig and the dress, and the look will be complete. Sometimes the clips at the back are really fiddly, especially with this wig because the company has had it for quite a long time, so they're all twisted and it's just a pain in the arse when you can't see behind your head. So just bear with me on this one. <laughs> And here we have our final look. You can see the full dress. Excuse the socks, I am not wearing my character shoes in this. I didn't think it was necessary. But you can see how the makeup and with the costume, it just really comes together really beautifully and just makes a wonderful look. Even if you're a small chubby faced girl like me, you can still pull Elsa off. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you wanna see more character makeup and costumes. Um, I will gladly upload some more as long as you guys are interested. I'll see you guys again. Bye.